Yo, uh, so welcome to Charlotte One Guide for, well, mainly my guild, I don't knock the origin. Especially you, Jimmy. Fuck you. Learn to do trial. <laughs> Anyways, so. Uh, here I'm just making my character. Pretty obvious. Uh, I actually had the whole video recorded, but um, OBS decided not to record my voice. I'm definitely blaming OBS for this myself. Uh, <laughs> Uh, this is the easiest way to do it is dagger, obviously, as you can see, I have the origin and everything. Uh, dagger crits work really well in certain areas, like special and Chaco, but um, also I go no achievement to get more HP because you're probably gonna fuck up if you haven't won the origin yet, so yeah, just get dagger, as you can see. Uh, I have dagger encrypted. Uh, you go no achievementless, as I'll probably show in a bit. Oh. Hang on. Oh, what? Well, uh, the boons and floors don't matter, by the way. Uh, pick whatever the fuck you want. It doesn't matter at all, actually. Maybe don't pick like combat related ones like Hemophilia just in case, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it affected at all. But, uh, yeah, no achievement for the extra fortitude, more HP, maybe survive an extra hit or two. Uh, maybe three, depending on the talents you get. And obviously, with Swint's uh, stats, just go 10 fortitude, etc. Uh, here we go. Uh, things to note the reason why we go dagger is criticals. The critical does a bunch of damage, is what makes dagger worth it at the end of the day, instead of other things. Uh, it's also the fact that, you know, it attacks fast, so there's not that much of a damage difference if we're upgrading Fortitude. If we're upgrading a light weapon, or like heavy weapon, or medium, there might be a damage difference, but we're not, so there's not much damage difference between the sword and the dagger. You won't, you might, it might take like one or two extra hits with the dagger, but this attack speed makes up for it, and the fact that, uh, you can get more hits in, and the critical will just finish it much faster, deal more damage anyway, so not worth it. You can just parry easier. The one tip, I, I obviously I stand in a place where I can see all the orbs. Uh, your pl place will probably be different, but if you want to try out my place, that's good. I usually tap twice on my keyboard with the orbs, uh, just so, like, I don't know, if I like the input doesn't work or something. I just tap twice fast. I uh, just spam at the end, obviously. Don't don't stress if you miss one or two. Just keep spamming, I guess. Obviously, upgrade Fortitude, and I'll get the talent with the most HP. S it, since we're going no attunement, we're obviously going to roll for um, roll two instead of get a mantra because there's no need for a mantra. And uh, I think I burn either kit as well, like later on, because you know no mantra. Like, there's no point in getting it. What you, you roll two? because Manger's not needed. Now what's the Shaco? It's first attack will always be double swipe. And so look, attack once, double swipe. And I attack twice. You attack twice with a double swipe. If you swipe and kick, you can do your critical. After every kick, you can do a critical in two attacks. If it swings once, you just do one attack. And then wait for its next move. If it, uh, it's pretty basic once you remember those three premises. After each kick, just do a, a roll, not a roll. After you kick, roll, critical, two attacks. After double slash, two attacks. After a one, one slash, one hit, and then wait. Once you've memorized that, the shark will be very easy. If it does the downward thing, it did it twice here. That's just unlucky. Uh, I can I know that it sometimes fucks with your rhythm if you don't know sharkers very well, but that shark died much quicker than like it usually would because of the criticals. Criticals do absurd amount of damage with staggers, like unbelievable amounts of damage. And we just go fortitude. Because uh, enough fortitude lets us tank more hits. So as you can see here, you took it. Burn it. Well, I'll burn it in a bit. I get the one with the most HP. Because HP is what matters when you're getting the origin. Once you actually like start trying uh, to beat it and get a build ready, you won't do, it, do this obviously. But just for now, get as much HP as possible from talents. I think I get loot skipper here, don't I? For the extra HP. Mm. Do I? 
I'm probably explaining something here and I just don't have the audio so I don't know what I was talking about, but probably something to do with Sharko. Now where's the Golem? Pretty easy. Attack twice, dodge. Attack twice, uh, dodge. Or, uh, you obviously, each time you attack twice, you wait for an attack pattern. You don't want to dodge preemptively in case it does like a beam or something and you fuck it up. But uh, practically, as you'll notice, I always do two attacks at the beginning. One, two, dodge. Or one, because I fucked up there. One, two. One, two, three. So I go one, two, and then wait for the attack. And since I saw it spinning, I did three. I like to just walk around it like this. Uh, I can keep track of when it stops spinning and shit. It just makes it much easier to get a free attack in afterwards. I usually don't attack twice after the thing. As you can see, I wait. I did two attacks, waited to see the attack, and since it was a beam, uh, I attacked twice and then dodged. And then when I saw that he was doing the spinning thing, I attacked three times because I know I can get three hits in, and dodged. If you want to play it, see I fucked up. After it stops spinning, you only attack once. That was, I just want to see if I can get a hit in. If you want to play it really safe, then just attack twice, and then just wait for his attack. But you can get at least one, two, I did two attacks, waited to see the spinning attack, then attack three times. As long as you get those two attacks and watch the next move, the golem is very easy. See, one attack, that's it. One, two, wait for the thing, I attack, or oh, I fucked it up here. So you, see, you can make mistakes with golem, just don't stress. Uh, at all. Stressing is probably the worst thing to, with golem. It's actually very easy when you get down to it. One attack, dodge. One, two, wait, see, dodge. One, two, one, two, three, run. Very simple once you get the hang of it. Uh, just the rhythm. One, two, always guarantee those one, two hits. Uh, then just wait for the next move. And then just get that running attack in. Golems, it takes a while to kill, but at the end of the day, it's a very simple creature. It's it can't fuck you up in weird ways like the Sharko can. Obviously I'll get health back. I'm trying to get as much HP as possible for my talents. That's the point of it. And last but not least, it's special. Now the special is... Oh, here I get Fishman. Never get Fishman in normal build in my opinion. Some people really like it. I don't... Most people don't actually. But I get Fishman for the 5 extra HP. It's actually pretty good for unlocking the original charm. But... So it's just a little bit weird, right? You follow the same rule of attack twice, and then watch the attack. But when it goes down, because we're dagger, we roll once, and then critical, and then attack once. This uh, this is what makes dagger the best for special. Obviously, you can position yourself uh, to a point where like it can't hurt you with spites, but don't recommend doing that. I wouldn't recommend doing that unless you know how to. You can practice this with like normal searches, but... Yeah, see, I've I've shown you here. But obviously, run, dodge, critical, attack, boom, one, two, wait, one, two, oh, I did it again, one, two, one, two, attack, wait for the attack, parry, one, two, it goes down, I just roll, critical, attack once. It's that critical that really makes your damage flow, and it's the reason why you'd go dagger. Oh, just run, I guess, stay calm. If you get hit a few times, it doesn't matter. The, I actually beat trial with, like, when I first got the origin, with, like, no HP left, like, 0%. Just don't panic. That's the worst thing you can do with the special fight. If you're unconfident with your, like, dodging times at the beginning, don't worry. It's all good and dandy. And, yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. Just one, two attack with the special. I mean, one, two, then wait for its attack for the special. And when it goes underneath, just... Dodge, critical, attack once, and then wait for its next move. Uh, one thing to note though is when it uh, digs down, when it uh, digs down and hits you, or when you and you go flying up, or like when you get hit by the back thing, hold block because you because otherwise it'll get a free attack on you. You don't want that. But yeah, apart from that, pretty easy. That's all you need to know for the draw. I'll see you later.